I am going back to my book that was published in 2020. It's been two years now and um, it still makes me feel like I've just published yesterday. And um, it's a book about, you can say pretty much everything. It starts from romance, uh, moves into heartbreak, and then slowly transits into un the understanding of what love is all about. And uh, to avoid the picture that love is just about two people or, you know, romantic kisses or date nights or things like that. And I am just going to be doing a very short uh, reading of the three phases. The book is a poetry book. It's divided in three phases, as the title suggests. Uh, you, the first part is you. Second part is titled as me. And the third part is titled as love. This is from part one, you. The gentleness of your breath and the warmth of your skin is the only destiny I crave for when I've been walking for too long on this path of sorrow and sin. Free me now. Free me now from the pain and keep me locked in your heart for until death do us part. So you are everything to me. And I've tried to think of you as the future, but what happens when I deviate my focus and I shift my focus a little bit on myself? I'm struggling because I started with love and I've never known anything otherwise. So I'm desperate a little and I'm just starting to look within myself but I don't know where to start from. So, part two, me. Paint me please. I'm an empty canvas. I'm simply an empty canvas waiting to tell a story. Paint me please. I'm a blank book waiting to listen to your pain. Paint me, please. I'm a clear blue sky, waiting to see some shades. Paint me, please. I'm yet another lonely heart, waiting for love in all colors. Paint me, please. I've been alone for quite some time now, and I've realized that I was looking in the wrong places for love. And I didn't realize that love was beyond that. After all this while, I have come to realize not just the beauty of silence, but the power of solitude. I've shifted from being alone to being in solitude. I began to enjoy my company. I've done things that I've loved to do. And this little character that we're talking about today on stage here, has begun to find love in the littlest of things like her little diary, like a cup of coffee, or like her fluffy pillow at night. So love is a lot of things, but for me, one of the biggest things about love is gratitude. Today I'm gonna to tell you that gratitude is first within yourself. It's not in thank you, but it's also in the gestures that you also create and make. Part three, love. Gratitude, such a simple word, yet people find it so complicated to express. Today, I want to share about how grateful I feel. As a woman, I'm grateful that I was born as a girl and not man. No offense, but listen to me. For women are blessed with a virtue that no other man has been blessed with and that is being a woman itself. Maybe as a child, like a lot of girls, I did wish I was a boy. Maybe because they're just automatically somehow appealing to people as compared to girls. But I'm grateful that my parents never rejected me. I went to an all-girls high school with an all-boys high school right next to it. But not once, believe me, not once did I hear the principal of the all boys school give a lecture about how the boys must behave 
or treat the girls next door. Instead, almost every week we had long lectures under the sun about shame, respect, manners. But I'm grateful that my parents never gave me that same lecture, albeit my family. Instead, they taught me how to be fearless and brave, to stand up to a man if he ever disrespected me. Let me tell you this, I've been gossiped about and I've been shamed for being independent, being too independent, vulnerable, social, and vocal about my thoughts and opinions. I've heard rumors about myself and even laughed at them. I've been body shamed and casually called names for the way I look countless of times, sometimes even by the people I love the most. But I'm grateful that I was taught to shrug them off and move on and focus on myself instead of being violent or pick a fight. I've been groped, touched, eve teased, bullied, and criticized. I've been disrespected, ignored, silenced, and blamed just because I'm a woman. Yet I tell you today that I'm grateful. Because I'm grateful that I carry the universe between my legs. And because I know how to pour my pain and tears and move on from it. I know how to stand strong and balance my decisions emotionally and mentally. And I know how to use my physical power in a way that won't hurt anyone. I know how to bottle my wildest thoughts and discipline my dark side. And I know how to let go of certain things instead of clinging on to my ego. But most importantly, the most beautiful part of being a woman is that I can feel the pain of every other woman in this world. Thank you so much. Thank you.